What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Right, welcome back to AM Island Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right today. We're back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to the top 10 discontinued snacks America's, Americans miss the most. Alright, so as you guys don't know, I'm from the Church and Cakes Island, and basically, whatever food you guys eat in the United States, we eat it here too. Just about everything. Actually, most of our food is imported from the U.S. So whatever you guys, candies or little snacks or goodies you guys have, we have some of them. Some of them, y'all have them, y'all U.S. Americans, y'all have some, some, some different stuff like Oreo, uh, cinnamon, that's, that's, I saw it on a YouTube video. I was like, they have that? Y'all have some exotic shit over there. I don't even gonna cap. You know, but if you guys are new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe. If you mess with your boy, if you guys wanna see more reaction videos. Like this, just let me know and I'll do it. But with that being said, let's get into the video. I bet that snack pack's pretty good. Food companies love playing around with new ideas, but often these end in fails. There are also times where companies create a hit and still discontinue the product. But why? Oh, why, why? Here are the top 10 discontinued snacks Americans miss the most. Philadelphia cheesecake snack bars. Philadelphia I never had cheesecake that. snack bars are the subject of mouth-watering memories from people far and wide. Described as delicious I, dessert bars, I never had that. you feel as if you died and gone to heaven, there's much demand to bring back these divine treats. Seriously, if you look at the comments of any of Philadelphia's social media posts, there's a desperate outcry for the return of these snack bars. Please give them to me or I will take them. The one thing that seemingly everyone can agree on is just how tasty these were and that they would love to taste them again. Considering how popular these seem to have been, many people wonder why they were they good, though. in the first place. If you're craving one of these, don't worry, because Fiber One makes something very similar just uh. a little flatter it probably can't compare to the original but desperate times call for desperate, desperate measures. measures when you want to satisfy that craving oreo casters <laughs> yo oreo casters was bussin straight up i remember they used to call me oreo cases first of all that for y'all to call me they used to call me oreo cases in school i don't know why they used to call me curry curry chicken curry Oreo. Um, who else they used to call me? They used to call me Oreo, Oreo Casters, Fat Boy. Um, yeah. That's what they call me. Oreo. But, yeah. Let's get into the video. I think let's get into Let's get back to the damn video. But Oreo Casters was lit, bro. That shit was just so thick. Soft and creamy. <laughs> I just talked to my nose, my whole nose just vibrate just now. Oh gosh, that, whoo! I get a little excited. Just hold it apart and wick it. No, you're doing it wrong. Oh yeah. But y'all love your little ads. I see y'all, but I'm mad at you. You think? Up in the early 2000s, you probably uh, remember Oreo cake serves. These closely resembled America's favorite cookie, except better. They were soft, bite-sized cakes. Yes. And a variety of classic. They only came with two. Stuffed chocolate, golden Oreos, and they have golden. Much Peanut better. butter. Lifelong fans, these cakes. See what I mean? Young American has had these. These, these weird flavors, bruh. You know what I mean? All we had was the original Oreo cases, which to me are better than the um, original Oreos. They only came with two. They only came with two inside the package. But you know what I mean? It was busted. All I had was the original, and I never used to be fan of chocolate. As I don't think chocolate and chocolate that don't make sense, so I never used to mess with it. I never knew they had a golden or peanut butter. It's continued in 2012. In Japan, there's an Oreo soft cookie, which is similar to our beloved Cakesters, but then again, only available in East Asia. There's still a lot of questions surrounding why these were- Let me Google that. Shelves, and though fans have reached out to Nabisco, they haven't been able to get a solid response. Look at me! 
The only thing we know for sure is that these have been taken off the shelves, possibly for good. However, if you're craving an Oreo cakester or just want to try them out, the good news is that there are recipes online that tell you exactly I don't want how shit. to make them. People love <laughs> I don't want them so much the Oreo company made them. To DIY them in their home kitchens. I don't want to crap. Amount of dedication from fans isn't enough for Nabisco to bring back these Bro. Oreos, then we just may have seen the last of Oreo after Listen, all. I'm on Amazon right now on my on my laptop and they really don't have no more Oreo cases on Amazon, bro. They have like little thin ones she just is recommending, the Japanese one, but that ain't the same. Oreo cases was thick. Look, 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 look. I'm talking about y'all Americans is have Oreo cookies, carrot cake. I had the birthday cake. Um, the white fudge covered Oreo. I don't think I like that one. Dog chocolate. I don't think I like that one. Milk chocolate covered. Ooh. Brownies. Ooh. Peanut butter. Ooh. Double stuff. I had that. Caramel coconut. Wow. Lemon. I had that. That was terrible. Chocolate peanut butter pie. That banana coated. Wow. Mega stuff. That's pretty basic. Mint. Ew. I feel like mint would be so nasty. Tell me if I'm wrong. Mmm. Mmm. Strawberry cheesecake. Oh, I, oh my gosh, I am so off topic. Sorry, let's get back to the video. Yes, bug pops. I plan to pretend there's a bug in my Come on, Pumbo. Meal for free. Smooth. Somebody tell me something look like Pumbo. All 90 kids loved all combined into one. Popsicles, fun-shaped gummies, and the Lion King. Nestle's Bug Pops were popsicles that had tiny little bug-shaped gummies inside of them. And those Lion Come King on, and Pumbo. and Pumba featured on the packaging. Yeah, boy. And Nestle's Cool Creations line had many a Disney-themed snack item. This one was probably the Come on, Pumba had me trying to eat yellow so pedal. It's going to be so much fun. Probably because it was a little bit gross. They even came with Lion King seeds cards inside. This frozen treat was unfortunately discontinued, but there are many fond memories from fans online begging for Nestle to give these icy pops one more chance. Give me one more chance, and I pledge to place above you nothing, not even myself. Nestle has made no comment on this outcry from fans, so it looks like Timon and Pumba are just nah, going man. to have to stay a distant memory of the I past. wouldn't fuck with those, you Yo! I never had them. Mommy said it was too sweet, so I couldn't get them. Killer multicolored fruit snacks with a yogurt shell, and they quickly garnered a good reputation. There's like little yogurts. Popular snack when introduced in 2005, but it was nice though. Unfortunately, discontinued only five years later. Coming in a wide variety of brightly colored packages, these went through several Pokemon-like evolutions before they were retired for good. The original Yogos evolved into Yogos Bits, and then in to Yogo sour bits before disappearing off the face of the planet. They were supposed to be used for health reasons. However, there is speculation that the real reason these were discontinued by Kellogg's is simply because these yogurt balls were too expensive to make. Oh, everything's too damn expensive these days. And that the yogurt in the product had a higher risk of spoilage and therefore a higher risk of lost profit. In any case, it's evident that these snacks weren't discontinued continued because wow. they were unpopular. We hope that one day Kellogg's will hear the cries and bring back Yogos, Yogos. for good. I don't think so. Cheetos, cheesy checkers. Scientific conclusion, they take a beating, you keep on leading. Cheetos Cheesy Checkers are only one of many beloved Cheetos products to go out of style. Wrapped up in an orange and purple bag, launched in 1995, but gone by 1998. Now that was before my time. For these waffle-shaped Cheetos can be found on Reddit and bodybuilding forums alike. I just miss them so much. It's so beautiful. 
In an ad released in the 1990s, Chester Cheetah, dressed in his typical sunglasses plus a cowboy hat, is sitting on a shelf, about to munch on one of these cheesy checkers. That was before my time. Holding a captive doll approaches. A cheesy checker flies into the air in slow motion, disabling the robot. Chester Cheetah gets the girl, and also the snack. Well, we do love us a good Western-themed commercial, so if Cheetos ever decides to put these back on the shelves, we know that we'll be grabbing some to try. 3D Doritos. Doritos! Not now, later. These were the Doritos 2.0 that fans mm -hmm. were craving. These came with the same nacho cheese flavor that we uh -huh. love, but the 3D cone aspect of the chip was um, like brought it to the next level. Burst through our ceiling. You're gonna find those ceiling, and you gotta bust through that one. And you just gotta keep hammer and seals. These chips were introduced in 1998 and they were a massive hit. They came in four flavors nacho cheesier, jalapeno and cheddar, Texas paprika, and zesty ranch. However, uh -huh. while they had a very passionate fan base, it wasn't a huge fan base. These snacks were discontinued in 2004, and the reason uh -huh. is still I never had that. unclear. In never. 2013, a fan reached out to Frito Lay asking why exactly 3D Doritos had been discontinued. Frito Lay responded by stating that while they're happy that their products have such a dedicated following, not all of them make the favorites list. However, there is some good news. While this snack was discontinued in America, they were being produced and sold in Mexico. Mexico! Road trip, anyone? Shots on Mexico. Max bars. Want peanut butter? Nah, half of the, never mind. I realized I'm half of these snacks, they're before my time. I only think I remember was the Yogos and the Oreo cakes are so far. In 1990, far. this candy bar was a chocolate-coated arrangement of peanut butter and oats on top of a whole grain cookie. This bar was dreamed up by M&M's Mars as competition to Hershey's Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I want a Reese's, yo. Peanut Butter Cup. Early television commercials for PV Max declared that the PV in its name did not stand for things such as Piggy Bank, Polka Band, Portly Ballerina, or Pink Baboon. But that it in fact stood for Peanut Butter. Why the fuck would it stand for? Who have guessed? Filled to the Everybody. Of peanut butter, these bars were physically intimidating and held considerable heft. That being said, we believe that these simply came at a bad time. Not, not quite my temple. The truth is, even though PB Max bars have a rabid fan following, they faded out of existence in 1994. Why? Well, according Sorry, to the aircraft. Executive, the reason wasn't because PB Max wasn't selling well. They made $50 million in sales. Off the candy. You can no longer get your hands on these delicious peanut butter squares is because the Mars family had a strong dislike for peanut butter. Cheetos Twisted. Great twist. Great twist. I remember none of this. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I remember, I remember, I remember. It actually lasted for a long time. Yes. Years to be exact. Yes. Years. I remember the years. June to 2012. Yeah. Time to become the favorite. Listen, my auntie. Over the this is her favorite chip. Those ones. And what she used to do is she used to open the chip. She's got the big bag. I, I think they wanted to sell in the big bag. I don't remember selling the small bags. But anyway, what she used to do? She used to buy it and she used to open it from intentionally open it from the bottom. She said because all the cheese used to be at the bottom. She wanted the cheesy part first. Listen, she could bust on two of those bags easy. You know, it opened up from the bottom. I said, like, why are you just save the good, the good, the goodness, the cheesiness for lot? Say, no, I want it now. I said, okay, cool. It's like the more fun, more. It was fun though. I'm gonna lie. Average everyday cheeto. Their sudden disappearance from shelves sparked some questions. And in 2013, a brave fan reached out to Frito Lay on their Facebook page. I sent you a Facebook message yesterday and still haven't heard anything back. The company's social media team confirmed that they had, in fact, been discontinued. And while there are multiple petitions begging Frito Lay to bring these back, the message gave nothing to indicate that these would be coming back anytime soon. R.I.P. Cheetos Twisted, we will always remember the way you'd cover our hands and fingers and orange dust. 
but also how delicious you were. Exactly. On it's like they used to taste banana, better. Peel a pop. Peel the banana. Peel the banana. banana. Timed with the 50th nah, anniversary of this. Dolls childhood classic, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Nestle U.S. released their second ice cream under the Wonka brand. Ooh. The Wonka Peel a Pop frozen desserts were what? designed to look like a banana, but contain none of the fruit's health benefits. Very much potassium. They came in two flavors, vanilla banana and vanilla grape. And the most fun part of it was that you could actually peel it. And unlike a real banana, you could even eat the peel. The peel-a-pop is said to be a fantabulous treat. There's even instructions on how to eat it on the back. Bite, peel, enjoy. At 70 calories per pop, these actually weren't even that unhealthy. And the brand also encourages children to go out and play after eating them. You want to go outside? Outside? This was a go-to snack for after-school treats and lunch boxes. While Nestle is aware of these complaints, unfortunately, they've given no indication <laughs> that they're Nestle going don't to kill. bring them back anytime soon. Cream savers. Crunchy and creamy. Hey, man, I tied all of these ass brah. Brah, 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 brah. I'm a bite short. Every checkout, it was nearly impossible to stop yourself from grabbing a bag or two of these yummy candies. Wait, is this what I think what it is? What happened to them? Well, Cream Savers were created by Nabisco as a spin-off of Lifesavers. They were first introduced in the late 90s and disappeared in the mid-2000s. Even today, the reasoning for them being discontinued is a mystery. These were the candies that our grandmothers would give us if we sat still in church. These were the snacks we would look forward to eating every Christmas. In other words, they I think I know those ones. part of many childhoods. And for them, if have that's the one I'm thinking of, mommy is a light dude. Sort of My mother, it's, it's a, a lot of them shit, bro. Not cool, man. Not cool. Sadly, you can't find cream savers anywhere. Yes. Not in brick and mortar stores like Walmart or Target, or even online from sites like Amazon or eBay. The good news, though, is that another company noticed the hole left in our hearts by cream savers and rushed in to fill the void. Campino yogurt fruit candies are yeah. made with real fresh yogurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Extremely yeah. positive. It's some artificial stuff. Exactly Tastes so good. The OG cream savers. They're perfect for bringing back a taste from the past. It's just like I remember. Tap on that screen wow. for more great videos. Hit that subscribe button and Bye. hit that bell to join our notification. Dumb old snacks and, and goodies and treats was busting, bro. Straight up. You know what it is. Coming home from school. Oh, then I had to come home from school and your lunch kit. That's what I used to do with my Oreo case and obviously, I used to get Oreo cases to carry school. Remember, I can't eat my lunch, my, my school lunch. I can't eat it. I can't eat it home. So I had to carry to school. So I used to do, save my Oreo case, go, cases all day, come home, put that in the fridge a little bit, let it get chilled a little bit, put on my code name, kids next door. Mm. God almost bite my finger. I sink my teeth into the life on warm kitty. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Bringing back some good memories, man. Bringing back some memories, man. But hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Smash that like button if you guys are new to the channel. If you guys want to see more reaction videos from your boy, just do that. Comment down below, man. Show your boy some love. With that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Be happy, be blessed, and remember, the world is yours. Peace.